Today on Houston Life, it is Wine Club Wednesday, and we're popping cans, not bottles. We're going to sip on a tasty can, sparkling. You're going to want to take on the go this summer. And how about getting in shape without even leaving home? Fitness guru Mandy DeMarzo shows us five resistance band exercises for every fitness level. Plus, a look inside Houstonopoly, the brand new summer pop-up that's putting an H-Town spin on a popular family board game. And we are wrapping up Caribbean American Heritage Month with a preview of a huge festival planned for this weekend. All that and more happening today on Houston Life. Live from Studio B and KPRC2. Houston Life starts now. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Houston Life. It's Wednesday, June 30th. I'm Courtney Savala. Hi, Courtney. Hi, everybody. I'm Derek Shore. I think you could wear one of those costumes and do some of those dance moves. It's bringing out, you know, my my lifelong dream. You're, of being a Vegas showgirl. <laughs> yeah. This is a little different than that. A little that. different, but still, the costume is amazing. Can you believe today is the last no. day of June? I know. I feel like we need to celebrate. I feel like we should. It's also Wine Club Wednesday, so what do you say? We pop a top? Let's do it. Okay, so what do we have here? Okay. Okay, so this is Bollicini. I think you guys have probably seen these cans before so um, in the grocery. Of course, HEB has a fabulous canned wine selection. Um, but this is a sparkling. What do you think? It's delicious. Yeah. It's really I, good. I get the pink can, the sparkling rosé. I've had the pink as well. The thing is, they're too convenient. They're lovely. Too convenient. <laughs> <laughs> they're a little too easy to drink. I'll tell you why I like a, can a good canned wine. Because Orlando's like a bourbon whiskey guy. So he pours himself a little gentleman's drink. I don't want to open a full bottle. So I have this. I have like four of these. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I have one. The equivalent of a full bottle. <laughs> but when you open a full bottle, you feel, I don't know, I shouldn't speak for everyone, but I always feel the pressure like, oh, there's this full bottle, it's even with a topper. Does your topper, when you put the topper on the champagne, does it blow off in the fridge the next morning? No. I gotta get better toppers. You gotta get better toppers. Or, Aunt Dorothy, God rest her soul, mm. she told us one of the best secrets, kept secrets, she was a flight attendant at United for 100 years. Um, you just put a, a fork in the uh, bottle of the champagne. Does that really work? It does. We had a full scientific experiment at my house one day, and uh, non-scientific, let's just say that. But the metal, it's a reaction. It keeps the bubbles. For how long? Well, I mean the next day. OK. Uh, let's be realistic. You're not topping <laughs> any champagne bottles for tomorrow. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> well, cheers to Wine Club Wednesday, and we're going to have more on this coming up later on in today's show. I know. And you know, I said this yesterday at the end of the show. I love when Houston Life, when we go for full circle, we'll start on something, we go into a tangent, we figure it out. This all has to do with, of course, our very beloved Lauren Freeman. So we, I knew that she was in the Miss Texas pageant, but thankfully her mom has found the pictures. Oh, do we have them right now? Yes, we do. Look There's the that. blue dress she was talking about okay, yesterday. Okay, she looks exactly the exactly same. Exactly the same. And this was more than 20 years ago. I know she could still fit in that dress. She could wear that to work, and no one would even blink an eye. I, I agree. Now, this is 1999. Wow. This is at the Miss Texas pageant. Hair was large. Hair was just a little larger yeah, and a little but that's, shorter. That's pageant hair. That's she looks anchor fantastic. Hair. She does. Good for her. And that's where, is that Frank Billingsley's hand? Unconfirmed. <laughs> <laughs> Frank, we need to know, is that your hand? It looks like it. So we can't show the YouTube video, but just now before the show, I was watching the YouTube video of 1999, the Miss Texas pageant, and Lauren appears at nine, sec nine minutes and 22 seconds in case anyone wants to look it up. Please do. It's good. It's good. I actually watched all the intro of the girls just because I thought it was kind of fun. It's great. I love it. It's great. It brings back memories of the 90s. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Lauren Freeman and her mom uh, for playing along with us. So the end of June, Courtney, also means the end of Pride Month because my neighbor Connie is going to text me and ask what the shirt says. It says love first. So I'm representing oh, and today. The little, there it is, a little rainbow on the end there. rainbow on the side. So happy end of Pride Month. You know, this morning we actually had a diversity group here at KPRC. It was company-wide, so all the stations. And there was a trans activist named Raquel Willis who spoke just about how so many people are born in situations where they can't even think about tomorrow. Right. 
And that's just so sad to it's think sad. that there are people who can't, they think that, you know, based on their position in life or who they are, that they're not going to be able to do whatever they can. So those words really spoke to me and it just reminded me that during COVID, during the pandemic, and I mean, the last year and a half has just been such a wild card for so many people, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Mental health is such a huge, huge issue. And my belief is that everybody should be able to just, you know, live without stress of harassment, live without stress of fear, go out into the world and really pursue their own destiny, right? Well, so trying to come full circle here, uh, Ariana Grande is doing something really cool right now. She's actually reaching out uh, to anyone, right? She's giving away essentially a million dollars worth of free therapy. Wow. And, and this is really cool because for so long, I feel like mental health issues have been stigmatized. And if you feel like you're going through a hard time, whether it's at work or relationship wise, or maybe it's an equality issue, you feel like you're not part of a community. Mm -hmm. It is so critical that you talk to someone you reach out and get help. And so Ariana Grande is encouraging people to take that first step to go in, do a free session. She's actually giving people, the way it works is you sign up, you get your first month of therapy totally free. And that's a way for people to sort of get their feet wet and realize it's okay to talk to someone. Absolutely. It's okay to feel not okay. And I hope people will just sort of take that first step and courageously ask for help, which is sometimes, Courtney, the hardest step to take. And quite honestly, you know what's not okay is for people not being able to get access to the help that they need. Yeah. And if you look at our homeless population, a lot of those people who are on the streets and are battling homelessness, a lot of that has to do with mental health issues. They're not able to get that access uh, to the therapy and uh, whatever they need to overcome what they're going through. And it's a shame that it's gotten so expensive and it's gotten to those people that have a job and insurance and all these other things in order to cope. So we don't know anybody else's situation, what they're going through, whether they have a job, don't have a job. And I feel like this type of access needs to be available for children, for adults, for men, women. It doesn't matter. It needs to be available for everybody. It should be a basic, given, yeah. without question. And you know, if you've been watching Houston Life uh, for some time now, you know that one of the cornerstones of our show is we're really committed to covering every, every community out right. there. I mean, we're all in this together, right? And there are communities um, that, that still suffer great inequities, great inequalities, whether it's disability, whether it's your race, whether it's your sexual orientation. Um, if you don't think there's a problem out there because you haven't experienced it, it doesn't mean that there's not a problem out there. Right, there's it doesn't still, mean it doesn't exist. Right, and there's still so many problems in the world. So uh, if you're one of those folks out there, you're feeling like you need some help, then take that first step. Then follow Ariana, Ariana um, Grande on Instagram, and you can find more info there. Or call her Ari, as her friends do. Yeah, you know, for sure. Well. Okay, so this one, I was just heartbroken when I heard about this headline oh. yesterday. You you know, I played tennis my whole life. I started playing at five years old, and uh, the Venus, the, the Williams sisters, always like major headlines when it comes to tennis, right? Yeah. Serena now out of Wimbledon. I'm sure that you guys have all heard about this. She had to pull out first set, first round of Wimbledon uh, due to a leg injury, and this is only the second time in her lengthy career that she had to retire from a major match. She's 39 years old. Um, after the um, was at the Australian Open, I think, when um, she paused longer than normal to kind of absorb the crowd that was cheering for her. And in a press conference later, she was asked, "Was that is that an indication of where you're thinking as far as retirement? Because, you know, it, it took her a long time to get off the court. She really was looking around at the crowd and the fans mm -hmm. cheering for her. Soaking it in. And um, she didn't respond to that. But, you know, she's been plagued with a few injuries. And it's just so heartbreaking when you see an athlete at that level, competing at that level, go down and not being able to compete because you know you would probably see her in the finals if not the semis. Without question and it's so heartbreaking. I mean she has been a role model for so many of us and one one wrong step, yeah. one, one wrong move, and you can see in the video if you've, if you've Ugh, watched it, there's just that little slip uh, where she injures her leg. And when she just goes down, you can just see her body language, the look on her face, that look of devastation, but then is 
also turned into sort of gratitude as the crowd rose to their feet and gave her a standing ovation. I know, I know. It's so great to see. And again, you know, she's a mom of a young daughter and uh, a wife. But, you know, at the end of the day, she's this elite athlete at 39 years old, still competing with some of the youngest up and coming stars in tennis. And so my hat's off to her. I don't think it's the last. I think she's going to be back on the court. It's just going to probably take her a little bit longer. Gosh, we need I hope more. So. We need more Serena. Absolutely, we do. Yes. We do for sure. Powerhouses, and Serena. I love the strength of her too. Because remember when she, when the when the Williams sisters were coming up, right? Like they were buff and built, and they, everybody was sort of like, "Whoa, what's going on?" They didn't know what to take make of these girls, right? Incredible athletes. Incredible, and uh, we wish her a speedy recovery. Maybe it won't be the last time we see her at Wimbledon. No, it better not. I know. I have a feeling she's going to dig deep for us for sure. Okay, guys, still to come, we have the latest technology or form of torture. We're talking new weight loss. It's a device you got to see to believe. What on earth? I know. You won't even believe it. Okay, we'll get to that in just a moment. And also, all week long, we have been celebrating Caribbean American Heritage Month. Today, Joe Sam is showing us where we can go to find some island vibes this weekend. Wow, Joe, it looks like you're ready. Yeah, I am ready, Derek and Courtney. You can already see the amazing headpiece that I have on. When we come back, we're going to be talking about these beautiful costumes that you can see here. We're going to talk about the entertainment and so much more that's going to be happening then for the Caribbean Music Festival that's going to be happening this weekend. All of that and more when Houston Life returns. Okay, guys, we tease this. This is super crazy, but it's a new weight loss device developed by researchers that is just like literally out of this world. This is coming to us from New Zealand, researchers there. Um, it is basically a device that's fitted in your mouth by dentists, and they use magnetic components and bolts, and once in place, <gasps> Dental Slim Diet Control only allows you to open your mouth no. to millimeters. This cannot be real. Okay. You can only have a liquid diet. And here's the other thing. As I'm reading this earlier today, I was like, what is this? Why are, what is this? Why would somebody even put this on the market? And then I got to this line. It's not meant to be for short or long term weight loss. Wh what? It's, it's literally for people who need to lose weight to have a surgery. Oh. So they're going to get rid of that excess to, to make sure that they can have whatever surgery they need. For how long must they wear that thing? I, I don't think it's very long. There's, I don't have the information on the length of time, but it's literally there and it's installed to help those who need to lose weight right before undergoing surgery. It sort of reminds me of like when someone has an issue with their face, like a broken jaw or something, and they yes, have to and have, they have their to jaw wire. wired shut and they can only drink through a straw. It definitely seems like torture to me. Oh, absolutely. I mean, no, thank you. That's a hard pass. You know, what? about a year ago, we were, this was right before the pandemic because we were with Brandon's mom's sister, our Aunt Cheryl. I was laughing so hard, I almost choked up my food because she was telling us about this thing that happened in Houston like 20 years ago. You would go to this gym, but you could go after work like in your full suit and you would just essentially lay on a table that like moved your arms. And what? Moved, and moved your legs <laughs> and exercised for you. Oh my goodness. It was clearly not effective, right? And she did this for a while, but I guess a lot of people did. If you were one of those Houstonians 20 years ago who tried this, please message me. Because yes. I'm very curious to know. Well, remember back in the day, there was that thing, the band, like I remember seeing like black and white, you know, and it would you get in and it would jiggle, jiggle the fat or something. Uh, I don't know. Lauren, we've got you now for our question of the day. Courtney, Does any I, of this sound familiar? I can do that without having a band. Everything jiggles without the band, okay? Well, we want to hear from you guys. The latest diet to as seen on TV products, which I was such a sucker for when my mom thought I was crazy. What's the most ridiculous fad you've ever tried? We've already got some great answers coming in. Let's go to uh, so Isara right now, crimping our big hair in the 80s. We all looked like we stuck a fork in the lights on. But we weren't alone. That was the thing. Everybody yes. was doing it. Crimping Correct. is awesome. <laughs> Look at Oscar's hair. He's a crimp. Right, He's an right. 80s baby. Rochelle writes in and says, the silver reflective blanket to draw oh. the sun to me while mm. laying out. And of course, coordinating a silver swimsuit to get even more UV oh. rays. Yes. young and dumb. Oh, I hear that too. Oh, no. All right. Jennifer says, I tried the cold shower fad. It's supposed to be good for you. Dumbest thing I've ever done. 
I did it once and never did it again. It probably didn't help, but I also tried it in February. <laughs> oh, during the freeze. <laughs> yep, me too. And Ada writes in the Thai bow workout program, but my favorite was sweating to the oldies. Oh, I with bought Richard those. Simmons. I bought those Thai bow workout VHS tapes. It was with tapes. Billy. Billy was his yeah. name. I, I bought Blanks. it too. They're Billy Blanks. And then they opened a Thai bow stu uh, studio in Houston too. I can't say that I was a member, but I was a member. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, you guys, head over to the Houston Life Facebook page and join the conversation. We'll share more of your comments a little bit later on. Derek and Courtney, I know you have some of those little fads you tried. Okay. What about it? Shaky weights? Yeah. Did oh. anybody do the shaky weights? Yes. You did not. I didn't, but I know that's on there somewhere. <laughs> sure. But Rachel McNeil and I did do, in, deep, in the deep heat of summer in West Texas, we did the cabbage soup diet. <gasps> I've heard of that. How did that go in the deep west side of Texas. I mean, sweat. We were oh. profusely sweating in our apartment. Ridiculous. That sounds delicious. Plus, I mean, if you're That's Russian, all we you ate eat for cabbage three soup days. regularly. Like for three days, three meals a day, you ate the same thing. Yeah. Oh, we were so angry. Yeah. <laughs> Tai Bo was actually a great workout, though. It was. I, it was. It's too bad it went out of fashion. And yeah. the infomercials were was very the exciting. They were very That's good. That's what lured Big me bulky in. socks, high oh, top yeah. Reeboks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. It's right there. Good stuff. All right, Lauren. Thanks. Thanks, we'll get guys. to more comments <laughs> later on in today's show. Well, it's a combination of culture, great food, colorful costumes, and music. The Houston Caribbean Festival is back and bringing the island vibes to the city. And Joe Sam is at Cool Runnings Jamaican Grill, one of my favorite places, getting a preview of this weekend's festival. Hey, Joe. Hey guys, you already talked about those colorful costumes. You already see me rocking them out right now. We're talking about the Caribbean Festival that's going to be happening here in Houston this weekend. I have Kyle with me to share some more of those details. This is going to be really incredible because people are ready to get back out. This is the best event to do so in because it's going to be full of excitement and celebration, right? Definitely, definitely. It's crazy, a lot of fun, a lot of beauty, costumes, ladies, just everybody having fun from all different cultures, not just the Caribbean people. We saw all of that energy from the past festival that you had back in 2019, and I have some video to show people of that so they can see how much fun people had out there. You guys have an event that's going to be starting tonight. Talk about that and what we can expect following up until Monday. Oh, well, tonight we start with the camouflage party. It's called Operation Carnival, which means that it's the start of the whole week. We have a whole week of events. Tomorrow is the glow. Friday, we got Juve. Saturday, pool party. Sunday is the festival. And Monday, we got to close off the party in a, in a big way. Oh, yeah. We got to do it in a big way. We have a band that's going to be performing, too. What's the name of the band? Oh, it's called Isa Fetter. It's right behind here. Um, it's one of many bands that's going to be on the road. So y'all got to check that out. Go to the website, www.houstoncaribbeanfest.com and that's check it out. That's right. Chemotherapy is also going to be performing there. When we talk about the performers, we have a beautiful performer here who just Hi. finished showcasing that wonderful costume. Look at those wings. Let's talk Talk about your performance too because you've been doing this for so long. Yes, I have. Um, I'm a professional dancer. My dance company is Rainer Productions. It's a samba dance company. We dance soca and we dance salsa. Um, I'm actually from the Dominican Republic and I'm also going to be singing yeah. because of an album coming out, my hit song Contigo. So we're just going to have a great time. I mean, everybody comes to the festival, the carnival, and we all dance and have a great time. Have a great time. I love it. This <laughs> is our culture. We yeah. all love it. And take a look. Let's show people the costume one more time. Do a nice little twirl for them. I'm wearing her headpiece, you guys. When we come back, we're going to be talking about this amazing costume right here, right behind our beautiful performer, Moss in Motion. We're going to be speaking to them about their design, too. And we're going to be talking more about how you can come and check out the Caribbean Festival that's going to be happening starting off tonight. Courtney and Derek, what a great time we're having already. All right, Joe. We'll see you in just a little bit. After the break, why now is a great time to change up your skincare routine and get that youthful glow back for summertime. Plus, a total body workout with without ever leaving home, the five resistance band exercises to get you in shape. Houston Life will be right back. Want to look your best this summer? Of course you do, right? Pour Moi Climate Smart Skin Care can help with that. This innovative brand was recognized as one of Time Magazine's best 100 inventions of 2020. And its founder, Uli Hosleher, joining us now with why June is a great month to focus on your skincare routine. Hi, Uli. It's great to see you. Great to see you, Courtney. How are you? You always look so beautiful. And before, Uli, you share your secrets about why June is so innovative, let's first talk about why your concept of climate smart is so unique. Well, it's so unique because we are the world first brand that customizes skincare for the climates you live in. Let me show you, Courtney. On this hand, I use climate smart skincare. On the other one, just a regular moisturizer. 
Look at that huge difference. One hand shows I'm a three times grandma, but the other one doesn't. So think of Climate Smart as anti-aging skincare for your zip code, because what you need in that blazing heat, in that humid climate in Houston, is just very different that, as an example, you would be in Las Vegas, where it's super dry right now, desert climate. So that is Climate Smart, and that is how you get extraordinary skincare results in Houston. Okay, I have to tell you, I'm so addicted when you show your hands, and I still don't believe the grandmother title, but we're going to go with it, even though I don't have the proof. I'm just teasing. You always look great. Let's start with the name June. How does that relate to younger-looking skin? I have a great piece of fun history that every beauty geek's going to love. So the name June is uh, June is named after the Roman goddess Juno. And she was not just a regular um, goddess. She was the mother of all other goddesses. She was the queen and the protector of women. Well, at the same time, June is also the Latin root work for juvenile, and that means use. So we can safely assume that Juno, who was so beautiful, had perfect skin, and then you put use with it together, and that's how for thousands of years, June, the word relates to younger looking skin. Oh, I love that. <laughs> and I can't believe I've never heard of this before, but I love this little nugget of information. Okay, now that we've got sort of the ancient history, let's talk about what we can celebrate this week. Of course, Monday, June 28th was National Climate Smart Skin Awareness Day. I know, how amazing, Courtney. There is now a national holiday for climate smart skin. And finally, you know, the nation is finding out what we already know for over a decade, that skin biochemically changes in the climate you are in. So what you need in different places, just very different. Now, even in dermatology, it's its own specialty, uh, climate smart. It really is brilliant. I mean, what we need here in Houston, as you said, is so different than other parts of the country. And as always, Uli, you brought a special offer to celebrate our skin and the month of June. So spill the beans. What is it? Yes, here we go. It's a fabulous offer. It's everything you need for useful skin in the summer. It's our summer essential trio for coastal Texas, because if you would be in El Paso where you're in the desert, very different. So the star of the show is our tropical day cream specifically formulated for this humid climate. That's why we have two US patents. That's why we won Time Magazine Invention of the Year. But here's where you get step number one, our hydrating balancer. It immediately going to balance that humidity that you are facing and it gives you the first layer of anti-aging ingredients that actually going to work for you step number two is our potent serum specifically formulate to fight signs of aging in use that you get from that light reflected by the ocean by the you know overcasted sky and everything and then you lock it in with our lightweight um, tropical day cream all made in france all clean ingredients, and today, instead of $137, just $77, free shipping, and of course, with a money-back guarantee. But we are celebrating something special, um, the first National Skin Awareness Day, so we are also throwing in a one-year free supply of Sponchy. This is uh, the best sponge you can have to really take all your makeup off, you clean your skin, and it also works as an amazing cooling mask when you put them for a few minutes into um, the freezer. Oh, I love all that. We're going to need that here for sure. Uli Hosleher with Pour Moi Skin Care. It's always lovely to see you. So wonderful to see you. Bye-bye and happy June. Well, to learn more and to get in on that special offer, you can visit their website, pourmoiskincare.com slash Houston, or you can call 909-243-1456. And remember, that special price is $77 for what Uli talked about. For now, we're going to send things over to Lauren Kelly for a fun experience for Houstonians. Lauren, I am hooked. That is right, Courtney. Coming up, a look at Houstonopoly. It's a family-friendly, life-size board game experience now open in the Rice Village. And of course, We'll get a check of what's coming up on the news at four. Houston Life is back in just two minutes. Well, welcome back to Houston Live. Courtney and Derek back with you on this Wednesday at 3.30. It's a nice Wednesday. It's a beautiful day before the rain. So earlier in today's show, we asked, what is the most ridiculous fad you have ever tried? Here is some of what you had to say. You guys, you make me laugh every second. <laughs> so Joel writes in, dating women didn't work out well. <laughs> 
Joel, that's funny. Okay, <laughs> Paul writes in, buying a shake wake, of course, I shook that thing until my arms fell off. No weight loss here, total waste of money. Is that like a shake weight? Yeah, the weight thing. I used to yeah. try that at Bed Bath & Beyond. It didn't, it didn't look right. Michelle writes in, concealer that everyone was promoting on TikTok, what a waste of money. Oh, Michelle, watch the documentary um, on Netflix all about fake makeup from around the world. Ooh, that one. sounds good. Evelyn writes in, the ice cream diet, two pints a day, just drove me to only want sugar. Wait was a in minute. My teens. Hold on, Evelyn. Mm -hmm. Was this a real thing? Oh, yeah. I, I've heard of that. There's a diet for everything. The ice cream the diet. The ho, ho diet, the, you know, military diet, the pasta diet. Cabbage soup diet. We've all done it. But how would eating Where's two pints of... Where's the chips and queso <laughs> diet? <laughs> That's what I'm currently on. Wow, okay. <gasps> Ice cream diet sounds good. I'm in. All right, we're going to check in with Keith, Christine, and Kembrell for a look at what's coming up at the top of the hour. Hey, guys. Hello. Hi. How are you guys doing? Happy uh, hump day, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 Any fads you got any? Any fads that you tried? Um... I never do a lot. I do remember being younger. I did the ankle weights. You know, you walk around, you go to you go to school, oh, you yeah. go to the grocery oh, yeah. store, and, or you, you train. Know, you run in them. Well, you're supposed to. Yeah. They, they, I, I think you should just stick with the squats. That's what's going to get it for you. But that that was just me. You know, they didn't seem to work for me that way. Yeah, well. Courtney. I don't know about you, but every bad fad that I tried had to do with like fashion. So like, <laughs> or like tanning beds. Oh tanning well, that spray. wasn't a fad. But yes, that, it, it was kind of a thing for a while. Like everyone was doing it back when you were teens, right? Yeah. Some people still do that though. I know, but it's so bad. But the, not. It's different now. And also like the really skinny eyebrows. Oh. Well, that's why my eyebrows are currently microbladed. <laughs> so you don't because because I got rid of them. <laughs> well, once you yeah. pluck, they, they don't come back to Well, they do. It just is a matter yeah. of they just don't come back. I don't know. I feel like the overly fat. tan thing was a fad for a long time. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I think I think Cambrell, he had the you had the skinny eye, eyebrows for a little while, didn't you? You know, from from the overly tan to the eyebrows conversation, I'm like, okay. Cambrell's like, I'm out. This, this is fine. <laughs> I'll, I'll stick to the weather for the moment. How this, about this that? Is, this is no, used to no life, fans, Cambrell. No facts. Did you try Cambrell though? I said no you facts. earlier. You know, when you're the fashion leader, sometimes you just don't follow. Yeah, wow. Okay. okay. Yeah. Well, Mr. Cambrell Marshall. Just kidding. Okay. Just kidding, but it sounded good. What can I tell you? <laughs> hey, Derek, I heard you talking about. It was the very nice day before the rain. It hasn't been raining an awful lot out there. Well, when I walked into the station, though, I could see that ominous, you know, some dark clouds rolling in. So are they going to get us or not? It looks like that. And certainly it's been looking like that a lot. And so you see the showers that are around there. And so we continue to see showers popping up, sea breeze related for the most part. And we did have some thunder and lightning associated with it down in Bay City. But as quickly as they pulse up, they really diminish a little bit. But they're still out there along the sea breeze. We still have that, but we have less today than we had yesterday we'll have less tomorrow as well going into Friday but the weekend is still going to be problematic fourth of July weekend so I'm sorry about all of that but that's the deal going forward so right now we just have the showers that are the south look outside our window here at Southwest Freeway we're talking about 90 91 87 so those temperatures are going back up again feels like temperatures close to 99 degrees the deal is we've got just a few showers around, fewer showers for tomorrow, and then the 4th of July weekend is going to be nice and wet. Here's the hour by hour for us today. Going to be sliding down. Not going to cool off an awful lot. Still going to be in the 70s, the mid-70s tomorrow, and we can expect a repeat of these showers that are out there. So, guys, it's just going to be uh, less shower activity going into tomorrow and Friday, which is going to be kind of nice. And then Saturday and Sunday, keep that umbrella handy. And if you have any 4th of July plans, you should plan on having an indoor option as well because mm -hmm. the outdoor it's just likely going to get rained out a little bit. Might All not right. be seeing a lot of fireworks. Okay. Yeah. All right, Cambro, thank you, sir. We want to give you a look now at some of the other stories that we're covering this afternoon. First, the story making headlines around the world. Bill Cosby, a free man, Pennsylvania Supreme Court has thrown out Cosby's conviction for sexual assault. He had served three years of his 10-year term. A look at what's next for the iconic comedian and how Houston area organizations believe this could impact sexual assault victims. And former President Donald Trump visiting the Texas-Mexico border with Governor Greg Abbott. Investigator Robert Arnold is there and will bring us a live report as Governor Abbott looks to get more support for continuing to build the border wall. And important news for parents with little children, the respiratory illness known as RSV. It's on the rise here in the south, including here in Texas. The warning signs you need to know about that is all coming up at 4 o'clock. Derek, Courtney, back to you guys. All right, guys, thanks so much. We'll see you in less than 30. Well, it is that time. Happy hour in Studio B. And in today's wine club poured by HEB, we are cracking open a canned wine 
you will want to grab for your coolers just in time for July 4th weekend. You know, I've talked about this many times. I'm such a fan of canned wines, even bubbles, whether you're grilling, having a picnic, relaxing in a pool. Canned wine is really perfect for every occasion. Also chills very quickly too. It does. Quicker than a bottle. You toss way quicker than a bottle, yeah. for sure. Today we are featuring Bollicini. This is a canned sparkling wine. Um, and if you walk into HEB and see their huge huge selection of canned wine. This has really grown over the years. That's just proof of how big the canned wine sales have gotten. It's now become basically their own category at HEB as well. Oh. So it used to be like on these little end caps and now it's got its own section which is really cool. It, that, it's amazing because just a few years ago, it would have been unheard of to find any kind of wine Very in a gosh. can. Ugh. Very gauche. I know, right? Well, do you remember even when uh, the screw, screw top tops. bottles came in and people were very, you know, fa 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 yes. like judging, mm. <laughs> judging people who would drink out of a screw top. Well, listen, I don't think this is a fad. I think these here are to here stay. to stay because they're versatile, convenient, totally portable, 100% recyclable with the aluminum cans. And, you know, when you're headed to the pool, Glass is never a good idea around the pool. Yeah. Do you know once I lived in this condo building, this girl and her friends, they broke glass all over the pool. We had to drain the pool. She sent a message like, sorry, there's broken glass all in the pool. Uh so the point Horrible. is, don't take glass to the pool. Take a can. Grab the canned wine. And by the way, uh, these, as we mentioned, do chill down faster than glass bottles. This is a single serving size. And uh, the Italian sparkling wine is basically crisp. It's dry. It's refreshing. And it comes in a four pack. And each four pack is equivalent to a liter of wine, which BTW, by the way, is more than a bottle. So you're getting, this is $13 for the four pack. Mm, I'm just trying the, the rosé. The rosé. It's really, really good. We only take sips here at work, so do not panic. So, this. fun fact, the Bollicini blue and pink cans are super popular for gender reveal parties. Yes. Or baby showers. So, if you want to grab some, now is the time because the AGB canned wine and cocktail sale is happening today through July 20th. Ooh. What do you think? I like that. I've good had stuff, that. Right. I've had that before. There you can see on your screen, you can get 10% off all canned wine and canned wine-based cocktails. It's good stuff. And if you would like to join our Houston Life Wine Club poured by HEB, what are you waiting for? Just visit our website to register. You're going to have access to exclusive giveaways. You'll even have a chance to be part of our virtual tastings right here on Houston Life. And of course, as always, as a reminder, you can find today's featured wines at your local HEB. Easy 13 enough. bucks for the four pack. That's a good deal. Go get it. I want to have a baby just so we can have a little gender reveal party. Please. What do you say? Yes, do it. You like, you support that idea? I do. All right, coming up next on Houston Life, how to use resistant bands for a total body workout. We'll have five exercises that can be done in under three minutes. They'll get your heart pumping. And the, don't underestimate a, the band workout. Mm -hmm. It's so good. We'll be right back with more Houston Life. Welcome back to Houston Life. If you want to get fit without hitting the gym, there are some great exercises that only require a resistance band and a small space. Mandy DeMarzo, creator of the Burn Fitness Workout, is showing us five moves that can help you get in shape. And get this, they can each be done in 30 seconds. The first move we're going to do is simply a squat followed by a leg lift. All right, and you're going to alternate legs. And every move that we're going to do today is 30 seconds long. That's it. Now try to take up space here. Isn't that ironic? You don't need a lot of space to work out, but I want you to take up space within this workout, all right? And recruit that athlete that's inside you. Try not to lean like I just did. Really bolster down and recruit that core. That's it, 30 seconds just goes by like that. Next move that we're gonna do is literally a squat and a lunge. You're gonna come down low and then you're gonna take a nice big step back. All right, I want you to start where you are with what you have. Just start. That's the great thing about this. Zero excuses. You can take it anywhere. You can do the privacy of your own home. And then you switch legs. I'm in my garage. You can be on the beach. You can be in a park. You can lock yourself up in the bathroom if you need to. All right, just make sure you make a little bit of space, you have a purpose, and you're good to go. All right, next move that we're gonna do is a little shake out. Now the shakeout can be whatever you want it to be. All right, it can be jumping jacks, you can run in place, you can dance if you want. Is that, yeah, that's how I dance. All right, but make it work for you. Smile, enjoy it. You can actually have fun and get stronger at the same time. Amazing concept. Next one we're gonna do is called the pivot. 
Pivot. What a word, we've heard that a lot. So this leg stays, this leg hinges back. You just drop that leg back. Not up here, you stay low, all right? Just because you're struggling doesn't mean you're failing. That means you're getting stronger. That means that you found a weakness and you're turning into your strength. And you switch and you balance out the other side. All right, feedback is a valuable thing. One side is gonna be stronger than the other. Great, you just learned something about yourself. And what you learn in here, you apply it out there. All right, it's so much more than a workout. Good job, shake it out again. It goes by really quickly when you're present and you disconnect in order to connect. All right, last move we're gonna do is a side step. It's a side lunge. I really want you to use your arms, sit low, recruit that core, just like that. This won't get you where this will. And what we've learned in these workouts is that we can grow through what we go through. And there's a lot of value in that. And I want you to apply the strength and the resilience that you build in here, and I want you to apply it out there. All right? Just a few simple moves, and they have profound results. So let's get moving, Houston. Let's get moving. Let's get healthy. Let's get active. Let's get some goals that scare us and excite us. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your energy. Thank you for your sweat. This has been an honor. All right, Mandy DeMarzo. Very nice. Mandy also says that even if you don't have a resistance band, you can still do all the moves using just your body. You will yeah. still experience a challenging workout that leaves you feeling accomplished. It's those plyometrics, right, when you're yeah. doing that workout. It's a great workout. Don't underestimate it. The Exercise Guru has virtual classes for everyone to sign up to connect with her. We do have a link in the scene on Houston Life section of our website. It's good stuff. Mandy DeMarzo is awesome. She is. And the buff. way she was able to speak through that entire workout. I know, it's what instructors do. All right, you go. Tomorrow on Houston Life, Gene Becker, George H.W. Bush's former chief of staff, shares insight on the president's life after the Oval Office. Here's some of the fantastic stories she wrote in her new book, The Man I Knew. I love Gene. She's great. Great storyteller as well. Plus, the local shop making charcuterie board dreams come true. I'm going to take you inside the Houston Dairy Maids to see the cheesy goodness they have to offer. Do you know how many different types of cheeses they have? Uh, I don't know. More than 150. No way. Yes, it's amazing. I can't wait for tomorrow. You know I love a good stinky cheese. Mm -hmm. The stinkier the better. If it's, you know, if it's not stinky, what's the point? Exactly. Okay, I think we have some time. I'm serious, right? I know, it's that good. That way you only need a little bit. So uh, before we go today, I think we have some time for some more viewer comments. Earlier we asked, what is the most ridiculous fad you've ever tried? Here's some of what you had to say. <laughs> Katie writes in parachute pants and jelly bean jackets. I had to look up the jelly bean jackets. The They're sort of like see-through, right? Kind of like Here. a rain jacket, but it was like a bomber jacket style. Uh, QT quick tanning lotion. Becky, I've oh. used it too. Turned my tummy and oh. palms bright orange QT. I remember it. Squeezing lemon juice in my hair to get blonde highlights. I know that you did that and got chased by bees. <laughs> well, that doesn't sound like a problem at all. Debbie writes in that dang thigh master oh. and squeeze and squeeze times looks like 100,000, but still no thigh gap. They lied. I remember as a kid, so I wasn't allowed to watch Three's Company. Really? Oh, that show was not allowed yeah. to be screened in our home. But Suzanne Summers in those Thighmaster commercials, mm -hmm. I still remember, squeeze, squeeze your way to shapely hips and thighs. It's also the Jazzercise, you know, Jane Fonda with the Jazzercise. Jazzercise, we gotta go, folks. Keith and Christine are standing by with the news at the top of the hour. Hey, guys. Jazzercise, Jazzercise, I think you, you, do, you <laughs> yeah. do one to get rid of the other, right? <laughs> right? <laughs>